I've been thinking about it, and even though I'm not president, I should behave like I'm president. And if I was president, what would I say? Okay, there are a lot of countries in the world that think that everything that bad, everything bad that happens, is the result of the CIA or Jewish people. That's reality. Iran thinks that, and that's why they have like conventions on why the Holocaust didn't happen. And so, um, when people think that, and then they have a, a, a virus like that ha break out. They say that the Americans released a bioweapon. And that's what a lot of people are saying, especially Iran. And so right now, should we be in a heightened state of alert because of um, terrorism? Yes. Can someone murder people with coronavirus? I got the coronavirus. I want to go give everyone the coronavirus. Yes. Does it seem like there are people that are trying to target politicians right now? Yes. I mean, Trump sure seems to be coming across everyone that has coronavirus. And what I'm telling you is Trump right now is like, like rationally, he's probably in a almost like fragile state of mind, but not a full fragile state of mind, but a fearful state of mind because he's come across this virus so many times now and he doesn't want to get it. And he's older too. And so, um, it sure seems like a lot of politicians are getting it. I mean, Justin Trudeau's wife has it and Justin Trudeau could very well believe like, that's what people don't understand. Justin Trudeau, Trudeau could believe that the CIA targeted his wife with a bioweapon or that we released the coronavirus in general. And, um, and so it's not just Iran that could believe something like that, especially considering what if I said that like we need to reduce the population of the world. But the thing about the coronavirus is like, did it kill that many people? Like, or is it going to kill that many people? It's not, it's going to kill less than a billion. I mean, logically, I can't imagine it's going to kill more than a billion, but it might kill more than a billion over um, 30 years if it doesn't ever go away, but there will be a vaccine. But how, like, it really depends on, I guess it really depends on how bad it hits Africa. Um, but it, it seems like the only countries it's hitting right now are like super oil rich countries, like what like Angola and, and Nigeria and Egypt is in oil. I don't know if it, I think they're self-sustaining on oil. Um, I don't know. Um, but Egypt hasn't even been hit very hard. And, um, but Iran has been hit very hard and Iran thinks that it's the Americans that did it. And if you're an American, you're an American. Okay. So, um, people think that, so, so people want to number one, give Americans the coronavirus. They want to target us. So um, you need to be aware of that. And like, do you want to go to a club right now? Like a nightclub? Maybe not. Um, like, I mean, it's one thing to go to the local bar with like five of your friends. Um, and it, it's another thing to go to a nightclub. Um, but I mean, it's what, what you do is up to you. But all I'm saying is right now, like we should be in a heightened state of security because a lot of people are blaming us for this, but then we're like going, um, what's up with the Wuhan uh, disease center? Because like, did you shut it down? Um, I don't think that, that that was them admitting guilt for creating this thing, but it sure seems like it came from a bat in their region. Um, but I'm not saying that the Chinese did it. I think that it might've just been a thing that happened um, but I, I mean, but I feel like a lot of people are blaming us for it. Uh, and that's, that's why I'm just saying like one of the reasons you should be, I, I feel like everyone's being way too cavalier about it. It's not a big deal. Like go on with your life. And I saw this lady, she was probably like 65 buying fake flowers the other day. And I was like, you went out of your house to buy fake flowers. And then I thought, the fake, fake flowers are, are as important to you as white paint is for me. Um, but still, like, I mean, maybe we need to... Number one, stay away from big crowds. But number two, um, just pay attention to the people around you. Because um, I can't imagine there aren't people that want to murder people over this. Like, because they, they'll, they, like, it, whether or not anyone did it, whether or not it, like, it doesn't matter because people want to murder people over it. That's reality.